Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your iPhone XR for a senior. To set it up for an elderly person, with, uh, there is an option which will simplify the UI to the maximum and increase the size of all the elements so it will be much easier to navigate through and much and more convenient to use. To do it, go to the settings, then in settings, just go to accessibility. Then scroll all the way down and you'll see assistive access here. Now I'm gonna scroll all the way down to reset assistive access because I have it set up earlier. And now I can just click on setup assistive access, then click on continue. And now it says that this iPhone is associated with this account that's logged in right now. If you want, you can change the Apple account. So you can just create a new account for that person or if they already have an account, then you can log it in. You can also connect it with your family sharing and um, you can manage it. But I'm just gonna click on continue then select the appearance. You can select either rows or grid. This is an idea of how it will look on the rows or a grid appearance. So I'm going to select the grid one and click on continue. Now you can select the apps that will be available in the assistive access because not all of them need to be available. So the first six of them are optimized for assistive access. So their UI, user interface, will be changed also within the app so it will be much simpler. I'm gonna enable all of those besides music and then I'm gonna enable a few of the not optimized apps. The not optimized apps still will have a big back button which is in all of the apps in this mode which allows a person to easily mm, and conveniently navigate through the system. So I'm gonna enable the calls and then it asks me who to receive calls from and who to make calls to. I'm gonna set it to anyone, but if you don't want that person to be able to make calls to anyone and receive calls from anyone, um, to, for example, protect that person from getting scammed, then you may want to set it to contacts or even to favorites. Then you can also set up who is the favorite contact. You can select multiple contacts like friends and family and they will be also marked as favorites at the top of the list. So I'm gonna enable anyone just to show you more functionality but I would suggest putting it on contacts. Then in call options you can enable keypad and speaker. I'm gonna only enable keypad I mean speaker. I'm not I'm not gonna enable the keypad and let's click on continue now to go into the camera Here you can enable the modes to photo photo selfie video and video selfie Let's say you just want to enable Two of them, but you can also enable four or any amount of modes you want I'm gonna enable all of them to show you how they work then you can also enable magnifier, messages, and here it's set up ex almost exactly the same as the calls app. So I'm gonna receive messages from anyone and send messages to anyone. Then let's go to favorites. You can also click on select contact and select who will be your favorite contact. You can enable tap to hear message, which I'm gonna enable because it's nice to, to hear message instead of uh, reading it. Then conversation details, you can also enable or disable that. The conversation details uh, are dates and delivery status and read receipts as well. Then message input and here you can enable or disable keyboard, video, selfie and emoji. I'm gonna enable all of those and then click on continue. Now I'm gonna enable the photos. 
you can allow or disallow shared albums. I'm gonna disallow and click on continue. Then I'm gonna also allow a f enable a few of more apps that are not optimized because I find them kind of important. For example, the clock. Then also notes, which I'm gonna enable as well. And let's enable the Safari browser. Then I'm gonna click on continue. Now you'll get uh, uh, info about using assistive access that the triple click on the side button will access emergency calling. Notifications uh, will appear as badges and your privacy information. You can also click on learn more about assistive access if you want and then click on continue. Now it says that I have a passcode set for my iPhone. So um, in order to use the iPhone, I'll need to enter the passcode each time. But you can also click on change security settings to disable the passcode. But I'm gonna leave it on enabled so no one besides that person can access their phone. So I'm gonna click on continue. Now it asks me to set assistive access passcode. So it should be a different passcode than the phone passcode. And it also should be complex enough that uh, the person cannot accidentally exit the assistive access mode because you most probably don't want them to exit that mode because it may make, mm, it may be kind of confusing. So I'm gonna leave it to, uh, set it to some, something simple so I remember it, but I suggest you just setting it to something complex and you can write it down somewhere. Then you can also set recovery Apple account uh, if you, in case you forget the assistive access passcode, but I'm gonna click on note now because I have the passcode recorded on camera. Then I'm gonna click on continue. It, it said a moment ago that triple click on the side button will also let me exit the assistive access mode if I need. Then I can either click on enter later or start using assistive access. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, okay, it says about the SIM pin that it's not available in the assistive access. So I'm gonna quickly click on enter later, go back, back, then um, go to cellular, SIM pin, and I'm gonna just disable my SIM pin. Now I can go back and go to accessibility again, then scroll down to assistive access and I, now I can just start assistive access. Then I need to enter the passcode that's set for assistive access and it is entering assistive access. First I'm gonna get you through how the apps look and work, then how to customize this mode to for example enable dark mode. Um, increase the font size or do something else and then I'm gonna show you how to other features and how to exit assistive access. So first let's go to the calls app which I've enabled and here you can see that I have recent contact and keypad. Of course if you didn't have didn't enable receiving or making calls to anyone then you won't have keypad here. So let's go to recents. Here are some big icons with my recent contacts, uh, recent calls. Then here are my contacts with big icons as well. Of course, I'm gonna later show you how to increase the font size. Then keypad, I can just type in the phone number and click on this big call button or on this big back button. So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna make a call to one of my recents just click on that, then click on call. And now you can see that on my other phone, I just received a call. So I'm gonna answer it quickly. Then you can see you can turn the speaker on or just end call. I'm gonna end the call, end the call. Click on that button again to make sure. Then it'll just go. Uh, exit out of the call. Now you can go back. You can go to camera. 
And here, since I've enabled four modes, then I can choose any of those. But if I had only one mode, then it will automatically go into that mode. So let's go to photo selfie. Now you have this big button to take a photo. So let's take it. Then go back and the photo has been taken and it'll be available in the photos app, which we're gonna get to in a moment. Now there is magnifier, which is also pretty convenient, especially for people with low vision. You can see I can point on something, then zoom in and it'll show me the item zoom, zoomed in, so it's pretty convenient. You can also zoom out. There are these big buttons which really help with everything. It's really intuitive. Then go to messages and here I have my favorite contact because I, I have one of my contacts set as favorite, so it'll, it's displayed as a big tile. If I had any contact set as favorite for calls, then it will also be as a big tile. And now let's go to messages with that contact. Now you can just click on new message. You can select keyboard, video, selfie or emoji if you have all of those enabled. Then you can see the keyboard is kind of standard, but that person also can use dictation instead of the keyboard. Or you can click on back, new message and select video selfie then they can click on record and record themselves saying the stuff they want to say. Then I'm gonna go back. You also have the recents and the contacts in here. Now let's go back and let's go to photos. And photos are really, really simple. You just have the photos. You can click on them or go back and it's basically it. It makes everything pretty intuitive. Then here are free apps that are not optimized. So in the clock app, it looks like a standard clock app on iPhone, but it is with the back button. So this is the only change. Also, the font size is quite bigger, but I'm going to show you how to make it bigger in a moment. Also, the notes look the same as the iPhone notes, but they are bigger, as you can see. Then Safari looks the same as well, but it's also bigger. So now let's triple click on the side button. Oh, I, I think I... Okay. So now let's move to the lock screen. As you can see, here I have the lock screen. And to unlock my iPhone, I need to tap, 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 and then enter the passcode if I have one. And you can see it is unlocked. Mm, so it doesn't unlock in your pocket or anything. It's pretty convenient. So now let's... Yes, I've triple clicked on the side button and now I can go to settings, emergency or exit assistive access and I'm gonna go to settings. Then I need to enter assistive access passcode to change settings. So let's enter it. And now here you can change the text size. So I'm gonna increase it for sure. Maybe by 235%. You can also enable airplane mode. You can enable dark mode, which I'm gonna enable to show you how it looks. It looks kind of cool. Then you can also change the volume and the brightness of the phone. And you can click here to shut down the phone. I'm gonna go back, back, and here you can see it's with the bigger font. So the font is actually bigger. As you can see, everything is bigger. Let's make it even more, even bigger. So unlock the phone. Okay. And then let's go to settings and I'm gonna make it maybe as big as I can. So 310% back, back. And you can see it is really big. 
and really convenient to access. You can see in other apps, it is also bigger. So, so all of the apps have it, even the ones that are not optimized. Here as well, you can see. And now let's exit the assistive access. So in order to do it, just triple click on the side button, then click on exit assistive access and enter the passcode. Now it is exiting. Then after exiting, it may leave the font and change the font size and change. So you may want to also change the font size after exiting assistive access. You can see it is quite big. So I'm gonna just go into the settings and change the font size. So let's go to the display and brightness, text size, and change it to the one that was here before. So I think it was this one. And that's all for today. The, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.